I was invited to a semi-formal occasion. Now, to many, semi-formal can mean a myriad of things. As a matter of fact, searching it up on Google Images, there was a rather large array of different outfits. Now, for me, I'm a very, very little person. I'm the type of person that needs direct instruction. I did end up searching for some videos on YouTube, and while there were a ton of different resources, I didn't necessarily find any videos that kind of aligned with my personal style. And so for that reason, I was like, why don't I be the video I'm looking for. All right, so just got done with breakfast. Figured before we leave, go ahead and show you today's outfit of the day. This is a pair of boots that uh, quite honestly don't really get any love from like anybody. These are a pair of hunter boots. They look awesome with just a ton of different pants and they're very, very comfortable. They're waterproof, definitely need the waterproof element because it is raining here in Southern California, which is actually something I'm not too, too upset about because we definitely need it. But yes, the acquisition of these boots have been a game changer. Anyways, let's get out of here. All right, so if I haven't said so already, I have no idea. I have nothing in particular that I'm looking for. Or like a look. I just feel like I'm gonna pull stuff together that kind of sticks out to me. It's a pretty nice knit polo. 40 bucks. Take that with. I should probably add some color because it is spring. Someone in here? Cool. Hey guys, it's me. As I mentioned earlier in today's video, my microphone really decided to betray me and it failed me throughout the duration of this vlog. So that's why I'm doing a voiceover. Here I'm at H&M's fitting room and trying on a few different looks. And as you can see, there's a lot of different garments that actually don't look half bad. And the pricing was really, really competitive. Like this sweater, for instance, it was about $24. And that's really, really good when you consider the fact that it's a pretty sophisticated looking sweater overall. The only issue is when it comes to H&M, though the looks are definitely there, the quality always leads you wanting more. Like, as good as this shirt looks, for example, right here. Just look at the way it falls. The way it sticks to my body. Here's yet another example. The outfit looks good, especially from a distance. But step in a little bit closer, a little bit more personal, and you kind of start to see this image disintegrate before our eyes. The clothes look good, but the quality just isn't there. And for that reason, I was just really dissatisfied. And I ultimately ended up going over to Zara. Zara has a lot of really good garments. Though the price point is just a touch higher, the garments fit a lot better. That's a huge difference that I did notice throughout the duration of just trying on more menswear geared outfits. And in addition to that, the quality is just so much better. I mean, if you think about it, you're adding an additional like 30% on top of what you'd pay H&M. But in every way, Zara is or was better that day. And so here's a couple different outfits. Uh, I believe those pants were like 69 bucks. And this blazer was so fairly priced. It was $49. That's even cheaper than H&M. And so for that reason, I did end up picking up this blazer for sure. It's a little spoiler alert. And I will be doing a haul and show you guys everything that I ended up purchasing from this day. I think you'll be surprised. 
no, you probably won't. I didn't end up picking anything up from H&M, but from Zara, I ended up getting a few different looks, and that of which we'll go ahead and see right now. This is the first look. I ended up purchasing the top, which is comprised of a little bit of silk and cotton. That's the blend of the shirt, and it just fits so nicely. It was priced at $69, which is a little bit pricey, but it fits just so nicely. Here it is with the blazer that I mentioned that I did end up paying for $49. Really, really great garment. And I'll go ahead and link that down below. The trousers are just the matching trousers that go with the jacket. I do believe this entire set is called the technical suit. And it's made to fit a bit more modern. As you can see, it's on the longer side as well. And it does complement a more like tucked look. So it's very, very sleek. The pants are pretty tapered, so for that reason, I did go ahead and put on a pair of Fear of God Santa Fe boots. As you can see, the top did switch, and that's because I did end up purchasing a shirt in white. This one was $29, I believe, but the quality isn't there as much. I'm not mad about it because it does fit pretty nicely and still kind of complements the overall suit. Now. In this scenario, I wasn't sure how I felt about the boots with the white top. And so, yeah, at this juncture of the video, I'm just kind of thinking to myself, do I, do I like this? What's wrong with this? So I switched over to these black boots. These boots are from Cause, and they're really, really excellent. The outsole has like a military vibe to them, but the overall upper is very, very sleek, and it's very complimentary to a suit like this one. And so here's how it looks. All together with the pants i feel like the ruggedness of the outsole kind of dresses down the overall look and that's why i like it and as a little side note too for those of you who are short kings like myself then you'll like this little hack try to match your pants to the boots exactly and it'll make it look like you're taller and another element of showing that you're taller or looking like you're taller is wearing proper proportions meaning you tuck in your shirt with the result of that being your legs looking a lot longer than they actually are i did decide to go ahead and end today's video with showing you how everything ended up looking for the event the event was actually my good friend's wedding who did specify on the invitation that he wanted everybody to dress semi formal and so here's the overall look. I went with the all black look. I ended up buying both, obviously, as you saw. Here's another look of Gabby and I together at the wedding. And here's a couple images as well. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by today's video. It's just kind of like a mini vlog showing you guys what I ended up purchasing for this semi-formal event. Uh, like I mentioned, this was something that I personally Googled. Though I figured there might be some value in doing a video like this. Thank you so much once again for continuing to support me. I hope y'all have a really great rest of your day. As always, peace and be blessed.